All right, so I have done some experimenting and that's why I like doing that, so I kind of learn. And one thing that I had did was I was trying to make some tiny 3 8 inch uh, black powder pucks. And right now I'm currently 3D printing a 2 inch uh, puck because I had ordered that um, die or whatever from Amazon. And I guess the weather or something happened and they didn't end up delivering it and they canceled the order. So I got a refund. So I never actually got it, which sucks because I wanted the aluminum uh, dab, which is what it was. I think it's like a rosin type thing. It's more for like marijuana type and extracting the oils or whatever. But I'm not using it for that. And when I was making my, my pucks or whatever from this, the star plate, I realized that I was doing something improper and that's why it didn't work out. But I'm going to show you guys in the video, if I still have it, the mistake that I did. And then I'll show you another method of what I did on my research to see if it will actually fix the issue that I'm having. So I'm just going to explain to you what I did wrong and then that way you kind of know. So whenever you're pressing uh, or corning black powder, it's important to know that you're not using dextrin. You're just using a water mixture along with alcohol and along with that is the water that you're mixing into the black powder that's actually breaking down and dissolving the potassium nitrate binding it together with the charcoal and that's increasing the speed of the black powder so you do want to do that along with a mixture of alcohol so that it dries out a little bit quicker and that's why I'm just mixing it up a little bit with a couple of spritzes of water and what's going to happen as the binder is the sulfur when it's pressed at very high pressures it, can, it, uh, it turns into a, a plastic and it plasticizes and it makes the um, star or puck uh, rock hard and then when you actually hit it with something you can actually hear it sound like plaster or um, a type of pottery some baby puck stars but the problem is that with this press that I have it doesn't stay pressed at 5,000 or whatever PSI I set it at it, uh, it presses it up to 5,000 as long as I'm holding the button but then when you let off it slowly starts to uh, lose its pressure or whatever, and then it settles at like 1,000 PSI. But once I press it at 5,000, I'm just gonna go ahead and let it do its thing and rest at 1,000, and let's see if that 1,000 uh, PSI that it sits at for five minutes or whatever, let's see if that does anything to it, because it's gonna initially hit 5,000 PSI as a crushing powder, or crushing power, if you would. So I'm hoping that will plasticize it and then when it stays compressed at 1000 PSI for 5 minutes or 3 minutes or whatever I decide, that is what's going to dictate whether or not it's going to stay solidified or not. I've noticed that a lot of times lift, you'll notice when you take it out of a shell or whatever, it has that real nice shiny texture to it. I've always wondered what that was and apparently all you do is you take your black powder pucks, crush them up and then you polish them in a ball mill with graphite. And that gives it that nice shiny texture that looks like, I don't know what you would call it. It looks like little Rice Krispies or something, but it's like very shiny. And I think that looks really cool. So I wanted to try that out myself. But now that we're ready here, let's go ahead and get this guy on the press. So I need to be able to lift this guy up off of the press base uh, pretty high in order for me to be able to let it stay um, compressed at whatever PSI I have it at. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. And then I have some stuff in the way. Let me just put this here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, it's pretty much 1,000, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you know, so that's pretty much what it's looking like. I gotta get behind this so this thing doesn't fall out and fly in my face or something. Okay, I'm gonna go and press it. We're currently at 3500 PSI, I'm gonna go ahead and increase it. Taking this guy up to 4000 PSI, I'm gonna hold it there for a second. I'm gonna let it go. And right there, even at 4000 PSI, I let off and it's currently at 1500. Let me go ahead and show you guys again what it's at for the pressure. So anyways, I'm letting it sit there, it's at 2000 sometimes this thing will increase pressure as it sits which is nicely but it's sitting there at around 2000 psi 
I'm gonna let it sit there for a few minutes, and then we'll come back and show you guys. Hopefully it'll work out. We'll see if this works or not. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the pressure on this guy real quick before I do that. Stopped at around 2,500 PSI, and I haven't touched it for about five minutes, so now I'm gonna go ahead and let off the pressure. Okay. Now, I'm gonna have to get this guy out because it's gonna be pressed in there. So this is where my tool comes in. I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy out. And you can see there, very, very nicely pressed pucks. See how they can scratch off? See, and these are a lot harder to scratch off. I can already feel it. So I'm having to use a little bit of force to scratch these off. And mind you, I didn't even get them wet or anything like that. So I think it worked. So that's all a nice black powder. Let's see how it's going to look over here when I release these guys. Slow. I don't want to knock these out or break them. Put the camera here so that way I'm not trying to do everything at once. And there's the finished result. Let's see if these guys actually plasticize. No binder. This is just straight up black powder 751510. And right there has a nice, very shiny, nice coat to it. As far as strength, yep. That guy is completely compressed. Now I'm just going to go and take the rest off. And then just like that, I got myself some nice uh, black powder pucks. The good thing is that I was able to figure out what my mistake was. And then um, once I actually get my 3D printed piece, I will be able to um, press a larger puck. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and use these little guys. Um, you can break them up or do whatever you want with them, but pretty much I like that it has that nice sheen to it and that just kind of tells me that they're very um, solid and compacted for what they are. Now you do get a little bit of chipping on the edges and stuff and that's because it's, um, you know, the edges are not going to be completely solid. Now if you squeeze one too hard, yes it will, it will pop and I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. I'm squeezing, well that one actually blew up. Um, but what you want to do is you want to let them dry as, as well because there is a slight amount of moisture in there that I did introduce to it and then you do have to remember that um, it, it's going to evaporate and then it'll become um, a rock hard uh, star or puck whatever you want to call it so pretty much that's it for this video I wanted to show you guys how, that's, how that looks and how that works um, if you're going to do any kind of corning for your black powder you don't necessarily need to have a press like mine. You can use a hydraulic press. You just have to be able to press it um, and keep that pressure on it long enough for it to be able to do its thing. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And like I mentioned before, if I have the video uh, in my, my memory card, I'll go ahead and show you guys that, how that looked with just a few seconds of pressure. That is not enough. You need to do minutes. Um, like I said, on this one, I probably did over 5-10 minutes because I was uh, messing around doing some other stuff. But um, I would say like 3 minutes is enough. Um, you just need to compress it. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If anything, just give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want to comment down below to help other people out if they have any questions. Or if there's something that I did that is, um, uh, there's another way to do it or whatever. Just let me know please. I'd like to know. And um, that's pretty much it. So until the next video.